And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. The show rolls on as we talk some high school soccer in the Citrus Belt League. Redlands East Valley, the boys soccer team in first place in the CBL. This past week, Cajon had a chance to join Rev at the top of the CBL standings in a very intense and physical game that was played at Citrus Valley High School. Cajon and Rev will play again at Cajon that first week in February. And uh, we'll see if the Cowboys still have a chance to win a league title when the Wildcats and the Cowboys meet again. An intense and physical battle at Citrus Valley High School between the Wildcats and the Cowboys. First half, Rev with the free kick. Logan Ashton puts it on frame. Corey Kaluf, he comes flying in. Eventually, though, the ball is cleared away. Now Cajon on the attack. The Cowboys' Angel Zamora brings the ball up. The pass goes right in front of the goal. Nobody there for Cajon. Now it's Cajon with the corner kick. Eduardo Retana the header. Carlos Chaidez the follow-up, but it's wide. The Cowboys with a good opportunity here. Free kick for Daniel Rodas. Great shot, but turned away. Now it's Rev with the free kick. Watch this play. Penalty kick awarded for the Wildcats. Cruz Navarro at the line, but misses. So we remain scoreless between Rev and Cajon. Cajon looking to grab the upper hand. Here's another great free kick from Rodas into the box, but nobody on the other end for the Cowboys. The Cowboys had some good opportunities in the first half, including this for, uh, free kick, but no goals to show for it. So it was 0-0 at halftime for Coach Rafael Laura and the guys. So let's move to the second half. Cowboys with a golden opportunity as Zamora is fouled. So Rodas will take the penalty kick, and he will be stuffed by goalie Alberto Gonzalez. The follow-up attempt sails high. It's still nil-nil. The Cowboys searching for the first goal of the game. Derry Zamora brings it up, and Angel Zamora fires off the shot just a little bit wide into the side netting. Later, Cajon with the throw-in coming up deep into the box. The ball bouncing around, but there's Rev goalkeeper Alberto Gonzalez again. The Cowboys look like they would break through in a scoreless match, but Zamora pushes this shot just wide. So close for Cajon. Now it's a corner kick for the Cowboys, and there is the goalie, Gonzalez, coming up again. Nothing doing on this play. Rev would finally light up the scoreboard on this free kick from Landon Garcia. Check it out. The Wildcats, they jump in front by a score of 1-0 on the goal from Garcia. So now Cajon forced to play catch up, trailing 1-0. Here's a free kick for the Cowboys, the header, but they come up empty. But Cajon finally breaks through on this play. Derry Zamora pushes the ball up and sets up Angel Zamora for a great shot on goal. We are tied at one apiece, a little celebration, but the excitement of tying the game would quickly pass because less than a minute later, Rev regains the lead. Some confusion in the Cajon defense and the Wildcats. Jeremiah Ireland lifts this shot over everyone. For an incredible goal, Rev up 2-1. to one. Cajon, the good fight to the finish. Very late in the match, Rodas with a free kick. And check it out, it would be off the crossbar. Rev remains in sole possession of first place in the Citrus Rope. Sister... Rev remains in sole possession of first place in the Citrus Belt League with a hard-fought 2-1 victory. The Cowboys are still in second place in the CBL, and as we mentioned, they will play one another again the first week in February. We'll see if Cajon can stay in striking range and maybe still have a chance to compete for a league championship. So that's on the boys' side, Rev in first place. On the girls' side, Citrus Valley is in first place in firm control. The Blackhawks taking on Redlands, trying to complete another undefeated season in the CBL. Up 2-0 when Ava Lopez passes to Sasha uh, Amezqua. The follow-up shot is... Good. Three zip, Citrus Valley. Citrus Valley with five goals in the second half to pull away from the Terriers. A miscue on this play. The keeper can't hold on to it. And Eva Lopez nets an easy goal for the Blackhawks. It's now 4 0 Citrus Valley. Blackhawks back on the attack. Great ball movement, and it ends up at the feet of Sabrina Benjamin. And a big left footed strike by Benjamin. All of a sudden, it's 5 0. The advantage for Citrus Valley. 
Later, CV coming up with a corner kick. It's Ava Lopez at the flag, lets it fly, but a nice save by the Redlands goalie. The Blackhawks would tack on one more goal in this match. A great run up the right side by Marika Lee to set up the final goal of the game. Citrus Valley remains undefeated in the CBL with a 6-0 victory against Redlands. The Blackhawks went to 10-0 last year in the CBL, trying to do it again. Here's head coach Norma Mendez. So we have the, you know, practically this, you know, the same team as uh, last year, except for, you know, our star player, Liz Lindsay Child, that graduated. Um, that's who, who everyone uh, was afraid of. And I think um, what they didn't realize that we have a lot of juniors on our team that are, you know, very competitive and very hungry to, you know, keep that the winning streak going. So um, our goal is to win league. We have five games left. We're going to take it game by game. But yes, um, our next goal is to hopefully go further in TIF. And what we're working on has been being a little bit more composed in our attacking third. It's just sometimes we get too excited to get that ball in the net. And, you know, all we just need is a little tap and we, you know, blast in and we miss. So it's just one of those where trying to stay a little bit more composed. Um, and yeah, I mean, like you said, yesterday we were winning only by one, but this is where we really need to just control, you know, our emotions, everything, uh, and just stay, be patient because they will come, you know? So um, that's what we're trying to work on for the next, uh, this next round. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG. Before we close it out, make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel.